So we're at a very, very Thai event. This is a yearly event. It's a fishing event at a local pond. I forgot what is the meaning of this event again, babe? No, they're just like uh, get the fish every year. Yeah. Just to, to eat, right? To eat, yeah. And then some people, if they get a lot, they can sail. It's one time a year they're allowed to fish. And after that, they're not allowed to fish. This is the pond for the village. So everybody can come, all the villagers can come do it together. So yeah, it's a community fishing hole. Fish once a year and they can eat what they catch or they can sell it. So this guy's pulling his net up here. Damo also told me that it's all the men because all the women have gone to the temple. So I remember last year we came, there was a lot of women too, but she said that this year they're all at the temple and the men have come to catch the fish. He said this year, not so many fish because last year they were raking them in. But I guess it's not been a good year for the fish this year. I will link below our two fishing vlogs, and one of them in particular, they catch the fish, fish with the hands. So you can check that vlog out. They put the hands inside the mud and pull it out. I think it was about, it's about two, two or three years old, that vlog. But I'll link it down there in the description for you. As with anything with these events in Isan, it's not always about catching the fish. These are more so social events. People get together, have a barbecue, have a picnic. Looks like they've got some in this net down there. These are the small boats that they come in. What do you care? Dalela. There's one over there. It's quite a big one too. That's quite a big one. So I think they, those guys sat over with Demo. They weren't so lucky this year. But obviously these guys here have been quite lucky. They take these tiny little boats out that look like they're going to capsize over there. Everyone's set up with the barbecues, and these are the nets. This is an example of the net that they're throwing out. It's got like a weight on the bottom, they throw it out, and then as it sinks down to the bottom, it catches the fish. And the kids here are not scared of uh, swimming in there, even if uh, there may be some snakes. I think that is his anchor, like an old piece of machinery attached to a, a rope there. So you see the kids here playing, no problem at all. We got some luk chin and some polamai. Let's get some mango for Damo. Ao mamu wang a hap. Chai kap. Kapom. Kapom, yang dia hap. Welcome back up. So we got a few little ones flapping around in there. They're the ones with. The spines. So this, like every village in Thailand, like in rural, that we have like a big pond like this. Every village, and then uh, every year that we come together to do the fish. Fishing is a uh, something like a sort of food for them, and for for us like a sort of food. But we don't know how to do it, so. Sometimes, like my mom come here, or the village, uh, in the village, they come here to 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 buy from them. You know, only like professional people that we go on the boat and that we fish like a big one. Yeah. But uh, this year very quiet because uh, I've, I think the fish is like very small, still small, and I not see any fish because I want to get it for my mom too. She she like to uh, she like the big fish for cooking for make a soup. What do you think, go? Fish on a stick. Hey, panic, leg. Yeah, I follow. So they said nobody's got any fish around this side. It's a bit of a... I think last year there was loads, as I remember it. Last time we came here and we vlogged this, there's bloody loads of fish. I think some people have been dipping in mid-year, perhaps. We got the kids swimming here. Very happily swimming away. This is how we need to get around. We need to get ourselves one of these guys. Forget the Salang. This is a brand new motor. Pulls from the front. You got all the kids in the back there, but parking's a bit of an issue. 
they're called Trello, but we call it Tendler. Tendler? Mm, yeah, Tendler. This is their, uh, it's the start, start the motor. It's a bit of a glorified lawnmower, isn't it? Put it into gear, and then off you go. <laughs> Me and my uncle have this, so you can try it. What can you do? You can't change the weather. And if there's no fish, there's no fish. It's nice to get off the farm though for a little bit. It's nice to get the kids out. And still the community feel, the vibe is, is good here. They're always uh, restfully busy. Ah, oh, Wolverine! This guy's got the right idea. He's watering his veg there. He's got a solar panel, small house. Now this wasn't here last year, and I don't say anything. This wasn't here last year, and there was, there was fish in there. And this year, it's here, and there's no fish in there. <laughs> I'm not saying nothing. So he did say that there are some fish in here. Uh. Hey! Right. So actually got some pretty decent size ones there. Tis you wanna see? Pladuk. Looks like snakehead fish, yeah? Yeah, it's not like that. No. Do you touch it? So, this one is nice big snakehead fish. So I'm glad we've seen some fish, guys, on the vlog. When you come fishing, you want to see some fish, don't you? So yeah, they'll be eating that. Or, or selling it, one or the other. You can see his technique here. Throws it out. And he's obviously fishing in the shade area. The fish like this, they like to hide in the mud. So they hide in the banks and the mud. Usually they get their hands right in there and pull them out. Oh, do I yai? He's got a big one. He said, oh, this is the only one I've got since this morning. Maggie mong cap. Bear mong. Bear mong kid. Like it. Like it. Like it. Like it. Ah, this is another one. They got something, but usually this would be full last time. <laughs> As you see now, like so many people, they get nothing from this pond. If, before they have a lot but they of have fish, to pay as well. but they have to pay like uh, the people on the boat they pay 160 baht, and people stay uh, on the side of the, the pond is 100 baht, but nobody get anything, just small fish. So because I think the problem is last fishing, they not put the baby one in, you know, they they not have uh, the grow one. So this time it's like uh, the people from another village come, they expect to have like a uh, so big fish, so many big fish, but they get nothing. So many people piss off. <laughs> then, yeah, don't look happy. Yeah, because actually 160 baht, you can go buy in the market like uh, uh, two or three or four of uh, the big fish, right? But here it's like they get nothing. <laughs> so some people they come out like early morning and then they only get one fish or the small one and then uh, they say uh, it's waste of time and waste of money <laughs> it's nobody knows you know like uh, and now we're going to take all the babies out again so next year there'll be nothing no, uh, i think like uh when they get complained i think they will start to put the baby in uh, yeah so that's all and the money where does the money go the money go with the leader <laughs> of the village yeah. To spend on the village or? It is spend on the village yeah. because uh, uh, to develop the village and uh, things, you know. So that's all about fishing and we get nothing from my mom. And then we get nothing. So now next, we're going? Next we're going to the temple. Temple? <laughs> yeah, we're going to the temple to see my mom and the activity in the temple. So it's, we go tambun a little bit. So subscribers often ask Damo and I, how do we make our thumbnails and family photos pop? 
Well, we've tried a number of different photo editing softwares over the years, but one that's really stood out for us is Photo.com. Photo.com isn't just your average editing platform. It's a one-stop solution for all things visual with AI-powered tools that make editing really easy and give a professional finish to images. As well as enhancing our photos using their AI, we often use their background removal tool, as you can see here. Photo has become a one-stop solution for people looking to bring their creative visions to life. With its high-tech AI engine, Photo empowers individuals to explore new ways of defining their captured memories and unleashing their imagination. So whether it's enhancing family photos or creating stunning thumbnails for online content, Photo has been our go-to solution. Its versatility has really allowed us to seamlessly edit our images across various different platforms, whether it's on our phones, our tablet, or on the computer. The photos we've edited using Photo have truly come to life, capturing memories in ways that we never thought possible. If you're looking for a powerful online photo editing, design and AI image creation, check out the link in the description and the pinned comment, and don't forget to use our coupon code for a special promotion. So it's not your usual temple ceremony today. This is a charitable event. So they put a spread on of food donations and people can come to eat here and uh, collect the food that they may need. And everybody's eating, everyone's brought the kids. The people that are coming to make merit, they can come here and they can kind of grab whatever they want. Maybe they want an icy cold orange or green juice or Coke or Sprite or something delicious like that and then each one you got like little different stalls set up maybe they're having some nice noodles in there something spicy and and more leo hey more leo cap on ah to kun gin tinun arroy me cap Everyone's enjoying the soup. What do you cap? What do you cap? What do you cap? What do you cap? So it is good if people are struggling a little bit, they can all come here and grab a little bit of something to eat, some water, some food. I can tell like some of these older people here that I that, that I see smiling at me. I can tell the relatives of Damo. You know, they just got the same look as Damo's mum. So, like I've said before in a previous vlog, they're all related here. This is a Thai dessert that she's having there. Nice, yummy, sugary Thai dessert. And they love that. Hello. 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 <laughs> we have Sa here as well, joining in. Oh, he's got his sugary drink that we don't usually let him have. So you can see everyone is so friendly, as usual. This is the monk, he's telling a story. And the monks will come and they'll sit down and they'll just share stories, life stories that often contain messages and things like that. And everyone just kind of sits informally and listens. This is not a formal ceremonial thing. This is more... This is more about the monks sharing their stories, their life stories, less ceremonial, a little bit more informal, fun to come and listen to and enjoy some free food. You see it's a plethora of hanging bananas and coconuts and some ore. Some ore. 
Here is Damo's family here. All, all the elders, the elders here. And we have the monk over there sharing his stories. So the, 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 they come here and the monk says story about Pramaha Shushu and then all like old people, they love to hear that story because it makes them calm. It's like a history story, like beautiful story. So when old people, they listen, they, they, they feel calm in the, in the mind. And then you feel like uh, the story about? it's the story of the Buddha. Yeah, that what they talk about is story of the Buddha and a story of the what we call like uh, how the Buddha born, blah 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 like that. You know. And uh, all, especially you can capture all people. They listen and then they feel like uh, you know bliss in the mind. I feel like on this channel we've been talking a little bit about food. <laughs> Not in your normal vlogger, Thailand vlogger way, where you're like, oh, noodle. Mm. But we've been talking about weird foods. We did, um, we did Dr. Pepper. What else did we do? Mama. mama yeah. We did Mama, we did Dr. Pepper. And today, <laughs> for the first time ever. No, Ryan, he came to the, uh, the Mama station and he said, mm, maybe I've tried this. This is Damo's favorite. My favorite one. It is a, a Korean style. Korean spicy. Spicy mama. Hot chicken flavor ramen. And I'm not lying, guys. <laughs> She'll eat this yes. every every day or every other day. And then she eats this. Vegetable or kimchi. She eats yeah. it with kimchi or vegetables, and she sits there sweating. When Ryan he say, "Oh, I want to try this," I say, "Ah, we should do." <laughs> It's not cheap really, like a normal cheap ramen, 10 baht. This oh, pot is 60 baht. 60 baht. That's import quite, from Korean. That's quite expensive if you think about it because I've had kapao at a restaurant, mm -hmm. 30 baht, 40 baht. This is actually double what you pay for normal Thai but food. interesting that Brian, he want to try. And I bet that he cannot have even one bit of it. We weren't, we weren't planning, this isn't like a vlog that we planned. She just said, if you're going to try this, you better get it on camera. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see his reaction. <laughs> okay. I bet I can eat the whole thing. Okay, I'm going to prepare this. Don't be making it extra spicy. No, it's not. It's going to be like this. If you pass this, so you're going to go to X2. You pass this one, this is 2X. And then there's a, there's a 3X. Oh, that's normal. Yeah. Then there's a 2X and a 3X, yeah? And she can't even handle the 3X. I got it for her. She can't handle it. So crazy. And then I have this one prepared for you in case. If you really hot and spicy, is khao lam. <laughs> My mom just make this uh, for the temple this morning, so you can it's have it. Me, it? Yeah. No, you can have because this one gonna be spicy for you. So it's good. Next, we have to take the water out. All the water. This is hers. Super spicy, and she eats it with hack. Half paw. It's not sugary. It's not sugary. Why not not look spicy. We put both things in. Yeah. Good, I don't want it too spicy, thank you. If it's really spicy, you have to try my one. No, no. <laughs> You're gonna look like I'm this. I'm very happy with my one, thanks. Okay, come on, come on. Actually, I'm quite excited. Quite excited to try. For the first time, I've watched her eat this <laughs> for years. Never tried it. Show us it. Can I show us it? Are you okay? Are you okay? It's, it's nice. got like an afterburn. <laughs> it goes in, it's not, not pet, and then later it just gets more and more pet in the mouth. But it's oh, not yeah. too bad. Really? I don't know. <laughs> Red fade now. <laughs> See the hanger. 
Very good recipe. It goes in. You don't feel spicy. Man, man, my pet, na. When you eat, it's very spicy. It's not spicy. But it's just one minute, two minutes, three minutes. It's spicy, 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 spicy. And then, ah. This when I get spicy, have with a pack bung tom. It's nice. It's not over the top. It's not like oh my god. You need to try X3. <laughs> wow. Well. I mean, sometimes in the Thai restaurant, like when we went to that cafe recently, they make yeah. a pack of our guy. Too spicy. Yeah, too spicy. Because I want to like I do like a real local. But it ruins taste. it ruins it when it's too spicy. You don't get the taste. You just it's just too spicy. The Thai people they love it. Yeah. Ni <laughs> Hong this one even more spicy. You want to try one? Because <laughs> it takes any pleasure away. Like, why do you keep eating? You eat a full chili. Why? Well, it tastes nice. No, but then you go and you, and you cry. Know, it's it's like because I think it's because our culture is like a spicy. You know, we cannot live without spicy food. So when when you have a spicy eat. It feel like very tasty and very sap because. Is that why you're so spicy? <laughs> is that why our marriage is so spicy? I'm not cutting this out. <laughs> She's like, I gotta cut that out. I'm not gonna cut it out. You do it long, and yeah, and yeah, even more spicy because it's like an X two. You can see more red. It's the two X. Oh, two X. All right, let's let's pump it up. Then. No, when you get the spicy already, you taste spicy already. It not, it not. So I mean, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like now my lips are starting to hurt. Yeah. <laughs> See there. Mm. Frying lips, frying lips are not built for such spicy, <laughs> spicy <laughs> foods. Now you done. I think good, but let's see if I get a stomach ache and mm. there you go. Next time you're in. Bull, bull, bull duck, bull mm. duck Korean noodles. Next, next time you're in in uh, Thailand. Bull duck. There you go. We did it in seven. Nice one. Easy to find. Seven Eleven. <laughs>